We talk a whole lot about inflation and deflation on this channel, but we've never actually talked about what inflation or deflation actually is. In this video, we are going to do a deep dive into what inflation is, why it's getting worse, what the devs can do about it, and why it's just overall bad for the player base. I know this is a different type of video than we usually do on the channel, but if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a whole lot. And if you guys want access to the best source of Pet Simulator 99 news, strategies, and even market changes, you're going to want to join my Discord. Link is down in the description below. It's absolutely free. It's just a great community if you want to improve in Pet Simulator 99. Now I'm gonna cut the yapping, let's talk about what inflation actually is. Now I'm sure a lot of you know what inflation actually is given the current state of the world, but if you do not know, inflation is basically when prices begin to rise as the currency becomes less valuable. Uh, so in our case, in Pet Simulator 99, the currency would be diamonds. So in the actual economy, we measure inflation by looking at the price of essential products, basically. So uh, we will look at the prices of food, prices of housing, prices of education, of gas. Basically, everyday things and things that people need are measured and tracked over time to measure basically how those prices change. And in Pet Simulator, inflation is measured a little differently because obviously we don't have essentials. But basically what we use to measure the economy in the game is the most commonly traded items such as the huge happy computer, the huge happy rock, and then we also keep track of other commonly traded items like the superhero eggs, even like stuff like the charm stones. Now the item market is measured a little differently compared to the exclusive eggs, the pets, and the exclusive enchants, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But in short, the reason why the items market doesn't quite reflect how we measure the eggs and the huges is because the amount of these drops that we get changes pretty much every update so uh, a lot of the prices for these things depends on how much drops people are getting and how good the enchants are so for example people are getting a ton of drops nowadays because the meta is to use the chest mimic and the boss chest mimic which just give a ton of drops overall so that's why the prices of all of these commonly dropped items have pretty much plummeted in the past few months meanwhile the prices of huges have gone pretty much straight up so it's pretty opposite there but as you can see, the prices are very different for the items market. What causes inflation in Pet Simulator 99 is basically the ever more increasing amount of diamonds that are entering the market that are being put into players' inventories that they are able to spend on things. So basically, as people get more and more diamonds from grinding and other avenues that we'll talk about in a little bit, they are able to spend more and more on stuff like huges, which are pretty essential to everyday grinding. And pretty much everybody in the game wants huges, so that's why the prices of these have been going up, as well as stuff like the exclusive eggs and even these rare enchants. For example, if everybody in the game was given a billion diamonds to spend on whatever they want, all of the general prices in the market would begin to skyrocket because everybody would be trying to buy things and they have so much currency to do so that prices would just go up. And basically that's what's happening as everybody is able to get more and more diamonds each update. Now there are quite a few ways that we do get diamonds in Pet Simulator 99, but a few of those ways to mention them are basically just breakables from grinding the final area gift bags, so large and small gift bags, as well as the mini chests, and then even the exclusive daycare and the normal daycare. Now, if you guys think that inflation has been bad so far, you can probably expect that inflation is going to get worse for quite a few reasons. The first of those reasons being that every update, we are being able to farm more and more diamonds, which is basically just pumping more diamonds into the economy. And at the end of the day, that is the problem and in how inflation is starting in the first place. The more diamonds that are in the market, 
the higher the prices of all of these essential things that we need in Pet Simulator 99, like huges. Now, the reason we are able to grind more and more diamonds each update is because we are growing our teams over time, as well as the new final areas are just getting better and better. And another reason that we are being able to farm all of these diamonds each update is because they are releasing new upgrades with each update. And the upgrades I'm talking about can come in a few forms. For example, the new mastery system that we got did add a lot of buffs to grinding in the game. So as you guys can see, we got better loot, 2x loot, percentage loot from breakables, as well as breakable respawn speed. So the breakable respawn speed in specific does make it so we are able to farm a lot more diamonds. So this is a pretty important thing to consider. Uh, and we usually do get some sort of upgrade in each update. For example, each update we get at least two new ranks usually that add some uh, pet equip slots, which enables us to grind even faster. So that's just another example of an upgrade that we do get every update. But usually these upgrades come in various different forms. And in this next update, we are getting access to the treasure hideout. And in their tweet, as you can see on the screen here, they said that they have tons of item and diamond drop chances, which is pretty crazy. So I'm imagining this is just going to further the inflation that we are going to see. They also said in this tweet that this area is better than whatever your last area is. So that's another important thing to consider. And this is something that is going to pump more diamonds into the economy overall. Now, another important thing to mention that the devs do sometimes, which usually drives inflation pretty crazy, is when they increase the gem cap. So if you didn't know currently, you can have a max of 2 billion gems in Pet Simulator 99. So that means that even the most rare Titanics that you see are going to be selling for 2 billion max. But of course, nobody usually sells their Titanics. They are worth far more than that. But currently, that is the max amount of gems that you can have in the game. So that is the max amount that they can sell it for. So for this reason, Titanics are usually traded outside of the game, usually in Discord servers. So if big games decides that they want to increase the gem cap in this new update, which honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did because it has been a while since we did see that upgrade from the 1 billion to 2 billion gems. So I could imagine we would see something like 4 billion or even 5 billion gems as the new cap because that is kind of closer to the actual prices of Titanics, but they are actually even more than that. But that's a topic for another time, just something to mention. Now, if we do end up seeing a gem cap increase in update eight, it is probably likely that we will see massive inflation or even hyperinflation in this new update. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering why inflation is so bad because if we are all making that much more diamonds, shouldn't we be able to afford these new prices for stuff like huges? Now, if you were thinking this, you actually would not be wrong at all. Because experienced traders often are making tons of diamonds during these inflation periods. And if you want to find out how to do that, join my Discord because we will tell you all about when deflation and inflation is happening so you can make the most of your diamonds. The problem comes with more of the newer players of the game not being able to catch up due to this inflation. Uh, because they are not going to be able to increase how much diamonds they are making fast enough to keep up with these increasing prices. So basically, this hinders the ability for new people to start playing the game. In order for a game like Pet Simulator 99 uh, to flourish, we need new players entering the market because the market depends heavily on these new players. A market-centered game that doesn't have new people joining and buying and selling all of the lower tier stuff can really hinder the ability for that game to flourish. A market where everybody is incredibly rich is not fun at all to play. We need people of all levels in the market in order for it to be a fun progression overall. Now, I do get this question a lot, 
about people asking what the devs can actually do to stop inflation. Now, there actually is a clear solution to this problem of inflation, and that's what we call a diamond sink. A diamond sink in Pet Simulator 99 is something where players can spend their diamonds or their currency on stuff that is not going to be circulated back into the economy. So this basically means that anything you are buying straight from the game itself uh, that is not going to another player. So for example, if I went over here and I bought this Titanic Christmas present for $31.9 to this guy... Those diamonds aren't just disappearing when I spend them. They are going directly to this guy's pockets. So that is not something that helps to stop inflation because those diamonds are still in the market. Now, an example of diamond sinks are actually these upgrades that we do get every update. So buying these pet equip slots, if I spend this 1.55 million, these diamonds are going straight into the void, straight into Preston's pockets and never to be spent. So basically these diamonds are no longer in the economy. So this is an example of a diamond sink. And basically this is what we need to stop inflation. Now, besides the pet equip slot upgrades and the egg opening upgrades, uh, some other good examples of diamond sinks that we do currently have in the game now are that diamond wheel that you can spin to try to win the huge in the new world. So that's a good diamond sink because players spend, I believe it's 30,000 diamonds on each spin. And those diamonds just get completely taken out of the market, which helps to slow down inflation. As well as the mastery system was extremely good and a phenomenal diamond sink that was added to the market. Because as people went to upgrade these enchants and stuff, they were spending all of these diamonds on these upgrade fees, which were basically honestly just sent out into the void and nobody saw them again. And people had to upgrade tons and tons of these enchants, which basically took a ton of diamonds out of the market. Now, on the other hand, the upgrades that we did get from these breakable masteries and the enchants masteries probably ended up offsetting those diamond sinks because they were enabling us to make more diamonds. So it's kind of hard to use that as an example. But I think you guys get the idea. Those are just things that make diamonds not circulate in the economy and take them out of the market to help stop inflation. So if the developers really wanted to stop this inflation, they could do that by implementing a, another diamond sink into the game that people actually want to spend their diamonds on uh, to essentially take those diamonds out of the market. Quite frankly, it is hard to come up with an idea that people would actually spend their diamonds on that doesn't just cause inflation by upgrading other things, basically. So I'm not saying this is an easy job for big games. I'm just saying that this is what they could do if they really found an issue with inflation. Now, another option that big games could do to stop inflation uh, a little bit would be to implement a, another event like the happy computer event that gives out a ton of free new huges. So the last big deflation period that we had was caused by this huge happy computer event. And that's because we got a whole lot of a new supply of these huges put into the market. So as the supply of these things skyrocketed, the prices went down because there were more that people could purchase. So people weren't willing to spend as much diamonds on them. Now, something they are actively doing to help slow down inflation is basically this new event that is coming in the update on Saturday. So if you guys didn't know, if you play Pet Simulator 99 and you have any rank above one, you're going to get a free hype egg for each of those ranks that you have. So by putting this into the game, Big Games is giving these out to players for free, basically increasing the supply and it should help to slow down inflation and could potentially start a deflation period depending on how good these eggs are currently at the moment we have no idea what's going to be in these eggs besides the chance at one of these titanics or these huges but if the eggs are really good, it could cause a decent deflation period, which would lower prices and make it easier for new players to get huges in general. 
And that pretty much wraps up our deep dive into what inflation truly is in Pet Simulator 99 and what can be done about it. I hope this video could shed some light on how you see the economics of Pet Simulator 99 and how you view inflation based on your trading. If you found the video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well as join the discord for the best information about the game as well as free daily giveaways. I forgot to mention that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.